What is going on, everybody? Welcome on into today's FanDuel Hurry Up. My name is Austin Swaim, and we are going to be, for the final time in 2022, breaking down some college basketball daily fantasy. Unfortunately, it is going by the wayside because the Final Four is here on Saturday in the Men's NCAA Tournament. I'm going to give you three studs that I really think you got to jam in your lineup in these high-pressure games. These guys are going to be absolute must-haves. And the first one, I'm going to go to the must-have of the tournament so far. That's Armando Baycott. He's $8,800 from North Carolina. There's no doubting it. He has been a dominant terror on the glass. He actually has double-digit rebounds in 10 of his last 11 games when you go back further to the ACTC tournament. He's also got multiple blocks in six of those same 11 games. He has been on a roll. He has the highest floor of any stud when you look at him here. He really doesn't rely on his scoring. We saw that against UCLA when Caleb Love popped off for over 30 points. He still dropped 35 FanDuel points on his own. He had 15 boards and 14 points in that game. The salary here is a little high, and that's because St. Peter's just did not have a body to match him. He had a monster 2020 game, but he is still the clearest top stud on this slate to me. You can definitely jam him in. In this game environment, is much better than the other one between Kansas and Villanova. So we're going to stay right there with the second stud, and that's Paulo Bancaro from Duke. He's $8,300, and you know him by now. He's a top five projected pick in the NBA draft. Always a solid choice. He has the best usage rate on the Blue Devils, 26.7, 27.6% usage this season for Duke. Averages over 17 points a game. Here's why I'm optimistic for Ben Carroll in this one. Duke plays at the 170th adjusted tempo in the nation. They're a little bit slower than North Carolina. North Carolina is up at 39th and one of the faster teams in the nation. This is a major pace-up spot for Duke as far as fantasy is concerned. And I think he's due, Bancaro is due for some regression anyway. He only has double-digit boards in one of the tournament games so far. That was against number 15, CSU Fullerton, in limited minutes. He is due on the glass. This pace-up spot should only help that. And amazingly, this is Bancaro's easiest defensive matchup on paper since then. Texas Tech, Arkansas, those are brutal defenses. North Carolina, not as much so in the regular season. And if you are going to go to the other game, which will certainly be the less popular game, to me the best spot is Oche Ogbaji from Kansas. He's $7,000, and there's no doubt about it. The Villanova defense led by Jay Wright it is brutal, but they did just lose a key piece, unfortunately, with Justin Moore going down with an Achilles injury over the weekend. The senior on Kansas, he has a team-best 25.7% usage rate this season. He is much more the scorer to the facilitator that Remy Martin is in the Kansas backcourt. The top of guard is between these two on FanDuel. When you look at Remy Martin, he has only scored over 20 real-life points twice all season. Both of them have come here in the NCAA tournament. His stock is just at an all-time high right now. Long-term, Agbaji is the leading scorer. He is the guy. And I could see folks turning away from Agbaji because the box scores are kind of concerning. Definitely needed the four steals in order to get to his FanDuel score in the last outing for Kansas. But he has done it all season. Long term, he's got the best role on the team. And Kansas is the team I believe wins the national title when it's all said and done. They're top 20 in both offensive and defensive efficiency and on Ken Palm. I want the best player with the best team on the best team. And that is Oche Agbaji. <laughs> 